y además de eso, and besides that was in the area of Canaanites, people who were so evil and they could never touch him because there was like a divine defense that God had built around him that no one dared to touch to touch on Abraham when they seized his nephew he prepared 318 working men because what he had were workers who looked after the ship and they cut the wheat and he went and defeated those kings because Melchizedek was with him then he recovered all those spoils that those kings had stolen from other countries and he gave them back to them and he said no of this I gave the Lord a tithe of everything that indicates that he was a man who was used who used to paying tithe on everything and the tithe is a blessing and Jacob said when the Lord appeared to him there in that place where he had uh, where he had uh, slept on a stone as a pillow he said the tithe of everything I will set aside for you and he did so and God prospered him because he says prove me in this but always set your tithe aside the same angel of the Lord, since he began the ministry, I remember that, that was a very big experience for me. When he told me, Miguel, come on, we are going to preach a message, such and such a message. I want you to be there. They didn't have what to, uh, what to buy that ticket, but I sold a small radio that had a cassette a, a cassette prayer it had various things that had been given to me I sold it for whatever it was to give the prompt to have uh, enough payment in the house in the, in the travel agency there they sold me that ticket in installments and I left I was left with nothing so when I went to Puerto Rico, brother William gave me about five cassettes. And I told him, William, I need to confess something to you. I did not understand anything that you spoke about these mysteries which you preach today. He began to preach the message after, after midnight. He preached until 3 a.m. in the morning, surely. Uh, I came tired from the trip so I did not understand I have to confess that I did not understand he said don't worry you will understand what you don't understand now you will understand it later but come on I'm going to give you the data and he gave me a number of quotes I'm going to give you the information he gave me a number of quotes from Brother Branham and they told me Miguel you know that I, since I began my ministry, I have been keeping my tithes because I know that the Lord must be given tithes and I have been praying to God for all this time. Since uh, around 50, something around that, and I received the Lord. 59, something like that said there I started I have been praying and that was around 1974 and I have asked the Lord to whom I have to deliver these tithes and here you have them you have them Miguel to use use them and that's when I was able to return not just to pay the ticket, to pay all the debts which were outstanding, and I left, I bought a ticket all over Latin America, taking, uh, moving around uh, South America, 
When I started to travel, that's when Brother Galdona said, you see that this man had to be stealing money from us for a long time ago, because notice he is buying, he's traveling everywhere. Where did he get this money? And the truth is that what I did was to use those tithes to take those messages to all those places. But tithing is a blessing. It's a very great blessing. Abraham practiced it. And Jacob also, he also practiced it. And Brother William also practiced it for you to know. So it is for you to see that the tithe is something that the Lord says, prove me. The Bible says that we cannot prove God, we cannot test God. But in that, he says, yes, we prove him. Prove me in this to see if I do not open the windows of heaven and power out blessings on you until they abound, until they are in abundance. Prove me. Prove God on that so that you can see. That was one thing that I learned when I met the Lord because on the island of Margarita, I did not know anything. It was when I left there that I already began to learn to read and to write and then I would say in a place where I worked as a, a, a janitor, uh, someone who cleans, uh, who runs the errands and I would see a boy who spent some time reading there and I said to him, what book is that that you are reading? He said, that is the Bible. And what's that? I had never heard of a Bible. He said, this is the book of the apostles, the prophets. He said, you young man, do you think that the apostles died? Those guys, they died many years ago. He said, he told me, but this is the truth. I said, I said to him, how much does one, uh, one of those books cost? And he said to me, why don't you go to a service with me tonight? And you can see there, and the service was in the house of some brethren. Then, uh, there it was for the first time that I heard the gospel. And I thought that the Bible cost a lot of money, but that is so, it was so cheap. I bought a very cheap one. And the person, the owner of the house, a widow, who was where the service was being held, where she told me, now you confess. I received the Lord, I received the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior, my sufficient Savior. And I stood and I received the Lord Jesus Christ as my only and sufficient Savior. May the blood of Christ cleanse me from all sin, from all this. She said, now sit down. You have to start tithing. That was the first teaching she gave me. What is that? Because I didn't know what that was. She said to me, How much do you earn? So much? How much? You have to give the Lord uh, this much. Well, from that day on, as far as I can remember, I never failed at that again. I have never lacked anything. So you can see that tithing is a blessing. Tithing is a blessing. So that was the first thing <laughs> that she taught me, that they taught me. Well, and people don't know, but God himself says, prove me. See, if I do it or not, of course he does it. He told the people of Israel, you are robbing me. And for that reason you are cursed. What have you stolen from what have what have we stolen from you? In the tithes and in the first fruits and all that they have robbed me. Because that that belongs to the Lord. Well, that's biblical, so may God help us.